Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Kaiserreich, in which we're playing as a Bharatiya Kamin led by some guy named Lala Lajpat Rai. But we gotta talk about it. Lala Lajpat Rai and the Calcutta government. The dude, the president of the Indian National Congress and head of the Calcutta government, has begun to feel the strain of his advanced age creeping ever nearer. With the British lapdogs in Delhi re-emerging as a serious contender to the mandate of the Raja's legal successor and the Burmese monarchy rattled by student protests and strikes, Rai has concluded that the government of free India will have to be refitted and reorganized if we are to keep up with the development of our neighboring rivals and as such, he has decided to step down from his position within the year. Rai's resignation sparks a potential end of the compromised government that emerged after the Indian civil war with both Ghani's Algerians and Subha Chandra's Bozas Maximus longing for definitive influence within Congress and the Calcutta government as a whole. I must say this is awfully exciting. A most cordial little to letter to Mr. Mosley. In London, Oswald Mosley has alongside a great number of revolutionary European dignitaries, proclaimed a new socialist doctrine uniting the most extreme and militant left-wing personalities of the continent beyond the idea of totalitarian socialism. With this belief in an economy controlled by the state, the total investment, uh, involvement of the revolutionary vanguard in internal affairs and the importance of the state in preserving socialism, Mosley's new thesis has greatly impressed Subhas Chandra Bose, the mar great martial hero of the Indian Revolution. However, Bose's enthusiasm for his coordination of revolutionary ideology has greatly worried his opponents within the Calcutta government. Nevertheless, Bose now sends his regards and supports for his new doctrine to Comrade Mosley, stressing the need for cooperation between Calcutta and London and the proletarian struggle for the dissolution of the capitalist system of murder and robbery. Maybe the Mahatma would better watch out. And we're doing establish our central command. There are too many separate commands based on the various revolutionary groups which fought in the Civil War. We must bring them together under one banner and move forward as a single force. Cool. So we have the final showdown out of 37. Totus Charter, establish your air branch, establish your naval command, <clears throat> the new Bharatiya, Bharatiya Army, Department of Research. I do want to get that radar, radio detection because that's just free technology, and getting a research shot would be very nice as well, but if we get daily army XP, that's probably the one we're going to go focus on first, so. The new Bharatiya Commune, or Bharatiya Army. Our ground forces must be, have a, must be a new priority, promoting these generals who can bring the greatest benefit and reforming their methods for the sake of the nation. A capitalist economies collapse. Over the past few days, the workers and peasants of the world have watched as bankers, capitalists, and tyrants scri scrabble to reap the benefits of the laborers or workers' labor for their own selfish gain. They call it a Black Monday, a terrible event, they say. They say that such a collapse was a completely uncalled for, something no economist would, could have predicted. Of course, the workers are no fools. The people will see through their lies. As the great philosopher Karl Marx predicted, such collapses are inevitable as a result of capitalism. As the capitalist abuses and reaps the benefits of the workers, they begin to eat themselves alive like rabid dogs. All of this as they leave their workers to struggle and die by the waste as they scramble for the last piece of meat. Our nation, however, has decoupled, decoupled itself from the capitalist world and has begun the construction of a true people state. Therefore, we remain unaffected and can only watch as the nations of the world are eaten alive by the capitalist overlords. That's a great awakening for the peasants and workers of the world, and soon, the workers of these nations will begin to organize against their oppressors. We must stand by and stand tall as a true example for the workers of the world. Workers of the world unite and establish training academies. New training academies are required. We must train a number, a great number, of soldiers, and quickly if we're to ever hope for victory against our enemies. Absolutely. Anything here? Um, restore order in Tawang. Oh, now that Tawang's under Bartia control, must make efforts to put down any lingering resistance and integrate to the rest of the Bartia commune. Um, that'd be pretty good to do. Become a core, get political power and stability out of that. Um, before we move on to there, we can go to here. We do want to grab someone here as well to help us build ourselves up. You know, let's go and do that anyways. You lose 2% stability, but you get the 2% stability back. Oh, and aborted. Oh no, we don't want to abort things here. Let's go and grab that, that's fine for now. And we get 0.75 political power every single day, which is not bad either. So establish training academies would be very good. Um, we probably want to send volunteers to other people so we can get some experience. Not bad. Rule the ground. Oh my goodness, minus 5% supply consumption is okay. Land speed is okay. Land doctrine cost is not bad. Rule the air, that's not bad either. Versus um, rule the seas. Let me know, which one should we do? Should we do rule the ground, rule the air, or rule the seas? I'll let you guys decide in the comments below. The Marines, Communist Coast. You know, I'll let you guys choose this too. Should we do protect the Communist Coast, or should we do establish a bar to Marines? Let me know in the comments below. The new industries, that wouldn't be bad to do as well. Infrastructure, that's a lot of goodness there. Um, it's all right. 42 day focus is not bad. Ooh, that's not bad to do and rush down that way too. We have three research slots, which is honestly not bad. I do want to get down here as fast as possible first though. Um, yeah, infrastructure is all right. The uh, Department of Research. It's time to construct a department within the armed forces, one which can concentrates on advancing research capabilities. Left KMT, I can't, how many volunteers can we send? 
Ooh, no. Volunteer row. All right, well, we'll send a horse division then. Actually, for you guys, do that. We don't have any trucks, but whatever. You can have him. Because, <clears throat> my goodness, we're going to need a lot of army XP. And we do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm, though. Even though it's pretty hot in India, I bet. And we have underdeveloped economy, which sucks. And divided government, which also sucks. Ah, coffee. Very good. And we have no planes, too, so. No planarinos. Quite unfortunate. Democratic coalition established in Mexico. All right. All right, where is that division that we sent over? There you are. Good thing, sir. Good thing. Led by... Jungle Rat? Uh, Nassim? I'll do the Jungle Rat just because he's got more ex experience. Greetings from China. When the shipments of KMT landed at Calcutta port, all the revolutionary forces in the east had their eyes focused on this red city, and it is the first meeting between Bharatiya Commune's leader and the KMT senior. Of course, it's not the first contact between the two sides, as back when the northern expedition failed, several KMT senior generals came to India as advisors. During this meeting, KMT also explicitly asked them to return to their homeland to join the revolution. Obviously, China needs revolutionary power more than us. Au revoir, au revoir comrades, au revoir. Do not get encircled. That would not be good. Save that division if you possibly can. That'd be very nice. Um, I don't want to die here, though. And if anything, I want to kill them off, but we'll see. Go back down this way, maybe. Good. Go down here, too. Can you actually win there? Maybe? Maybe not? No? Oh, they have two divisions there. But you never know. Drain Academy's first, though. That'd be a real one. Oh, non-ping, look at that. Good job, guys. Oh, look at that. And these guys are not great. They're literally 12 combo with, but whatever. Honestly, at this point, um, because we're right at the beginning, let's make these uh, garrison boys. Garrison. Garrisons. Garrisons, good. Because these guys, I do want to throw on whatever we can. We have nothing. Okay, we have nothing. Crap. Third International. France has gone through with its designs to hold the first Congress of the Third International, and we, as expected, have received an invitation. Um, ooh. It must, would be foolish not to send a, di a telegram or delegation. Nah, now nah, we're not going. Oh. If you're going to build up, please go ahead. The chairman of the Committee de Salute Public takes the floor. Now that everyone has assembled and the Congress has begun, it's, uh, has begun, it's time to take the stage in the open discussion. The Prime Minister took the stage first and discussed the purpose of the Third International. After the purpose of the Third International is made clear, the discussions will begin. We must use any means to overthrow the international bourgeoisie. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. Syndicalism of Spain. Juan Ascaso Budria has taken the stage and elaborated the position of the CNT-FII in Spain for the Congress. The CNT-FII is the largest syndicalist party in Spain made up of anarcho-syndicalists, moderate syndicalists, and trade unionists. The Spanish revolutionaries have seen a white terror, violent counter-revolutionary actions taken against the workers first hand. They have come asking for support for the cause when the moment comes. The French pledge of support and ask all of the members to do the same. As they probably should. Uh... I think I've read these before, but American journalist, poet, and cynical activist John Jack Reed spoke to the Congress for an hour and 15 minutes about the crisis facing the U.S. and the chance for a revolution in the Western Hemisphere. Following the, in the footsteps of Benjamin Franklin, Mr. Reed laid out the situation in America very clearly in the South. The American First Committee is stronger than the central government, and the North is suffering from a depression as the West Coast prospers. This economic imbalance has caused massive unemployment along the Great Lakes, and the people are ready for radical change. A modern-day Benjamin Franklin, they have our support, and unemployment and radicalism in Latin America. The Latin American countries were the hardest hit of all by the stock market crash in Berlin, and there has been a great awakening among the people. Socialist and syndicalist parties grow larger by the day, paired with unemployment. <clears throat> we should decide a policy in Latin America, where left-wing radicalism is ripening. Beginning to nurture syndicalism in Latin America. Carmen Sayul Mohammed wants to speak. He was a, a, a prominent Algerian socialist, was allowed to speak before the Assembled Congress. He has given a rousing speech on the situation in Morocco and French Africa, where Arab labor is abused and exploited for the benefit of the wealthy in the colonial establishment. Sayil urged the Congress to put an immediate stop to the situation. He proposed the creation of the Socialist Anti-Colonial Committee that will work to supply local syndicalists, anti-colonial conspirators in North Africa. Old Glad support it, and women's role in the worldwide revolution. <clears throat> Today, the British feminist Helen Crawford took the stage with her flaming speech arguing or talking about the women's role in the revolution, or the world revolution. According to her arguments, without women's participation in the industry and armed forces, it may be impossible to defeat the many enemies of the proletariat. While her delegation agrees wholeheartedly with her message, some fear that it is yet too early to really push the issue of women's liberation, and that formally affirming the speech is but a needless domestic disturbance. Do we have women here? It doesn't look like, uh, in a focus sheet, so it doesn't really matter. Um... Well, we will not respond, pretty much, yeah. 
for now. The state of Indian socialism. As the Congress approaches its end, young Jawaharlal Nehru takes the floor to explain the precarious state of our revolutionary government. In his speech, he strongly called for the international support in building a people's army to rival enemies in Delhi and Hyderabad. We need international support in organizing an army. Yeah, why terror? Where does Jaquan Askascal Budja speak of white terror horror stories? They've been coming out of Madrid and Barcelona, and Kurt Eisner, Bavarian socialist, wanted to delve deeper into the topic of white terror, and he was given the floor. After hearing more stories that have come out of Germany, Austria, Aust Hungary, Russia, and Finland, the Congress members were ready to make their decisions. Another reason we must end the capitalist system of murder and thievery. Worldwide, ec worldwide economic crisis, and the role of third international. The stage has been set for the revolution to begin. With the Berlin stock market crash, mass unemployment has risen in Europe, and South America and trade unions have begun to grow as a result of the both. Both as a result. And the first Congress. The Congress of the first Interna the first Congress of the Third International has come to close and the agenda has been met and set. Nice. Guys, could you help us out? We're losing pretty badly here. Now you attack your pieces of garbage? You doo doo monsters. What a bunch of doo doo monsters. How many guns are we missing still? 13,000? That's quite a bit. Not gonna lie, that's quite a bit. Now you win? Come on, man. Um, honestly, it doesn't really matter. I guess you go wherever you want, because you're going to be defending anyways, but still. And you're going to get attacked no matter what. <clears throat> Bummer research is good. I do want to improve working conditions, but at the same time, I do want to get early mobilization. How many factories are we building? Only four. It's not terrible, honestly. More stability would be really good to get, though. Uh, five percent more factories. Factory bonus to division limit. Twenty percent more factory construction. Let's go here first, and then we'll get more army XP. Then we'll do that. Like, we'll do it like that. Don't try to lose too hard. Not too quickly, please. But look at that army XP, son. That's not bad. Go here. Help him out, help him out. Oh, we lost there last time. Nan ping, oh, well, we get supply point. Not bad. First industry, thank you. 0.77, so after this one, develop radio technology. Radio technology has proven elsewhere in the world to be a marvel which allows for instant communication with the army's front line. We must work towards its mastery. Oh, oh, this one. Seek aid from Britain or France, oh. Convoys, bunch of ships. Yeah, we're definitely gonna go seek aid from France. Definitely do that one. Um, we could risk it. We could go a little crazy here. Oh, no, I was going to say just go up here and just cut them off, but... Ooh, that's not good for these guys. That's really, really, really not good. Can you guys win there, maybe? No. I'm not going to go in there. That's okay, let's go back over here. It's fine. If we can't win here, then so be it. You know, we're just here for the XP anyways, so... Help them out as best we can. Alright, and you're still losing? Alright. Manpower's not the issue, it's just guns and such. Alright. Indo-Chinese tragedy. Vietnam, 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 homeland of the South. Thirteen times I heard the outcry in front of the guillotine of Yen Bai. Thirteen men sentenced to death shouted it, one by one, two meters away from the climbing scaffold. A French journalist, uh, Louis Rubin, witnessed the recent brutal German crackdown into China with the bastion of German colonialism in the Far East. Now the Indo-Chinese revolutionaries in Calcutta are lobbying for assistance. If we send equipment and volunteers with German police and gendarmes occupied in Tonkin, the Ch Indo-Chinese revolutionaries can organize an uprising in Kokin, China. This could destabilize the German colonial empire. This will be an important international, international revolutionary or revolution project. Is there help? We're not interested. Department of Research, good. Develop radio technology, brought up with and develop electronics. The advent of radar and computers is essential to the commune's future military efforts. Absolutely. Well, it's level two now. Ooh, I'm going to stand back. Going to Siam. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that a KMT is going to win here. The left KMT at the very least. Hmm. You're pretty cheap, so I'll use you. Even then, like, I'm not even going to give him any traits yet, because it's too early to call what I want him to be, so that's okay. 1956, get some better artillery or better guns. Get some better... Oh my goodness, we're making outdated guns already. Oh my goodness, that's so bad. Yeah, that sucks. Get some more organization first, guys. That's fine. I mean, we're fighting four divisions at once. 
pretty nuts. Daily Arm XP, love it. Guys are just too weak, man. India is not a superpower. <laughs> Definitely not a superpower. But after this, we'll get some more uh, stability. We need stability. Flanders. Of course, we are getting closer to the mountains, so fighting the mountains is, or defending the mountains is really good compared to everything else. At least when you're not attacking into them. Hey, we got radar, nice. And the expand research teams. Too many other parts of the world are outpacing our scientists. We must gather more scientists and put them to work on our behalf to meet the coming challenges. Or, we seek aid from France. Mm, we can use it immediately. The government of France promises military assistance at the recent Congress meeting. Now, now we must see what they can provide. Uh, do we want to send volunteers? Royalists, I am. These are royal democrats, right? Yeah, authoritarian democrats. Yeah, we don't care about either one. Passing of Madame Kama. One of the most dil uh, diligent early Indian revolutionaries. Uh, ye Rustam Kama passed away today while recuperating from fever. Having unfurled the first Indian national flag at the Sukkot International Socialist Conference in 1907, Madame Kama enjoyed great prestige amongst both domestic as well as international revolutionaries. We'll march on until all of India is free. Ooh, we're going to definitely have to support, support these guys down here too, though. Not you guys, but these guys. A whole other division? Akbar Khan? Yes. Absolutely. Ooh, you want to hold. Ooh, you do not want to get encircled there. Nice. Defend the mountains. Defend the mountains. We're ready. We're ready. We have a lot of naval XP. It's actually really nice. Oh, we have no ports, though. That sucks. Huh. Cool. All right, so where can we go? Over here, maybe? Cut them off? Potentially? No? Okay. Or just keep slinking up this way. Slink up that way, and then you might be able to cut them off, and they have to use a port and convoys and such, so. Communist French military support. After a delegate to the first uh, Congress of the Third International requested military support for organizing the Indian Revolutionary Army, the United Britain and Communist France decided to dispatch senior military officials and ex experts to educate our foremost officers. Hopefully, this cooperation will yield beneficial results on the battlefield. The Red Army shall put these comrades to good use. Nice! Oh, division organization plus five percent. Nice, awesome. Can you, can you guys go in that way? Oh, supplies are gonna be real bad. I mean, it's Vietnam. What do you expect? Or Indochina, as some would say. Nice. Go, boys, go. You're probably gonna get encircled. No crap. Oh boy. Hold, hold, hold. Hmm. Oh, come on. That's stupid. Help him out there. That'll be alright. Republicans win Serbian elections, huh? Oh, man. This is, this is making me a little nervous. Probably gonna lose here. Oh god, this is oh this is making me really nervous. Holy crap. By the love of God, do not get encircled. By the love of God, please do not get encircled here. CK from France, it's good. And three slot, it's good. Nice. And we're gonna go to Grand Battle Plan. Now that should give us quite a bit more help here. And go and put working conditions. We want that, I want that stability. We need stability. Oh, we were actually so close. Uh, did you actually win there? No. You, you suck hard enough that you can't really win there. Alright, so after this one... Now what? Develop rocketry. We can definitely wait for that. And the meeting of the INC. You have to be after 37. Um, not much else right there, so... Uh, new industries. The state of our industry is lacking. We should concentrate our efforts on researching new designs for our factories. We have anything that gives more daily XP? Doesn't really look like it. Kind of sucks. Yeah, we literally get nothing that gives us more daily XP, which is really not good. You go there and try to encircle them. No guarantees, of course, but still. You can always try it. You can always try it. Well, now we're going to get more stability. Oh, riots and protests at Rangoon University. In neighboring Burma, riots are spreading amongst the political and important youth. Protests against the rapid corruption at Rangoon University at the lack of reform and illegitimate rule of President Uba Pei. For now, demonstrations have been restricted to Rangoon by the inactivity. 
Uh, the current regime might spell another outburst in the months to come. Especially with the workers of the oil fields in Yanang, Yang, Chaok, and Mingbu. Rumbling about lousy pay and poor living conditions, should the two fa factions unite, or fractions unite, we might find ourselves with a friendly government on the other side of the Bay of Bengal. Let us keep a firm eye on the Burmese. Yes, absolutely. Can you guys actually win there? Neville. Jack Reed. Oh, Jack Reed was actually elected. Look at that. Hang up for now. Getting that extra entrenchment is just so helpful. And help all the supply consumption as well. Oh, did they, they didn't die yet. They didn't, they didn't die yet. I was hoping they die. And I wins elections. Nice. How are they not so RV for supplies? I don't understand. We can help out the CNT, but we already... Wait. Okay, well, I guess go this one next. Cool. Get better guns. Get some motorized, actually, because we got... My goodness, we need some motorized. Looking okay so far. Not great, not bad. And then we'll expand this one as well. Seriously, how are they not suffering from supply issues? I mean, they are not weak divisions. We'll put it like that, but still. Okay, better on guns. We'll help out those guys later on. Nice. We should really get new industries. Four is your slots already. Awesome. Better pl Getting planes in general would be good, but... Uh, let's get some planes. Why not? Screw it. Why not? Mm. Armored core technology. Eh, infantry weapons. Yeah, I guess up next is just keep on listening. Expand the National Railroad. Expand the commons infrastructure is the first step towards rebuilding the economy and continuing our in industrial growth. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Oh, crap. This is not looking good at all. Follow Madrid. This is looking very precarious. Seriously, how are they? Are they cheating? How do they not have... Whoa. Whoa. These, these guys are cut off through here? No. What is a rail? It's all the way through here and then something else. They're not sitting on a supply point, are they? It doesn't look like it. I mean, we're, we're sitting on one, but we have no supply, but which means they should have no supply. The supply system in here is very funky. It doesn't make sense sometimes. It literally does not make any sense. Take that. Take the rails. See what we can do about that. They'll attack us here eventually, too. It's fine. I um, mean, I guess in any case, we could just send you divisions. I'm not going to pay attention to what's going on. We'll probably lose you guys, too, but whatever. Um, we don't have any artillery, so I'm going to do this, too. Um, Literally just send you just to help you help them out. Come on, shot. Unfortunate for him. Oh, that is not good. Not good. Oh, yeah, that... Left KMT is gonna die here. He's definitely gonna die. There you go, not bad guys. Can you just go straight up? Or just go straight down here and start encircling guys. Like what we did here. This doesn't make any sense. Nice. Red Spanish volunteers. Just get on the front line, don't die. Please just don't die. New industries, good. Oh, especially me the INC. Um, or we go over there. Look at this final showdown with uh, La 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 Jpat Rise coming, term coming to an end. All of Calcutta is buzzing with excitement. Prior to the convening of the Indian National Congress, there is expected a new head of state will be appointed, determining the direction of the Bharti economy over the next few critical years. Now oh, they do have divisions up there, which sucks. Oh no, at least we didn't lose that division. That sucks. We tried, man. I we tried the best we could. Our division is just El Sucko Sucko. Kinda of doubt these guys could attack and do well there, so how's Red Spain doing? Doing okay? You're over there. Please don't attack when you don't have to. Can you actually win there? Uh, 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 I don't know. I'm going to kind of leave them as is for now. We need more guns, but I'm not, I'm not going to make new guns yet. There's no point to. Happy 37, everybody. Let's get some more output. Here, help out. You know, you could probably force the attack and actually win there. That's good. And then, I really want to get some more army XP, but we want to build a pertinence a little more, a little faster too, so. And that's all about the fuel as well. There you go. That's 
fine. Yay! Hey, we actually got rid of that division. Nice job, guys. We're about to get encircled ourselves. God dang it. Alright. 37. Get some more construction speed. That'd be nice. More civvies. Red Spain. Stand off in America. Very good. We'd like to help them out too, but we're a little busy right now. Every, literally everyone else, so. Special session of the Indian National Congress. Calcutta steaming with excitement in the face of the 1937. Special session of the Indian National Congress. And the red flag flutters boldly from Ryder's buildings to the General Post Office. Inside the Calcutta High Court, the collected leadership of the Republic's government has convened for the ensuing election of Lala Raj Pat Rai's successor. It's expected that he, the appointment of a new head of state will mean a change within the nation's cabinet, prompting the various factions to vie for the most influence in the various com commissaries uh, and committees that manage our country. Three wings have emerged within the Congress. Bose's Maximus and emulate Mosley's British totalitarian socialism and regard military force as a necessary revolutionary act for India's unification while Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi leads a pacifist, egalitarian, and agrarian wing, striving for a negotiated end of the subcontinent's fragmentation. Standing between the two extremes is a coalition of trade unionists and ardent proponents of industrialism led by A.K. Fazdol, Hak and his own protege, Jawaharlal Nehru. As the opening speeches begin to ring across the floor, the 1937 special session seems to change, or seems bound to change the path of a free India in the next few years. Free internal faction, or fraction, must be quelled. Now we get to choose which one we want to go. Gandhi. Yeah, because this is radical socialists. This is the Mohammed Kamchaka. Yeah, that dude. Kamchaka. I apologize for screwing up all the, the names here and stuff. Focus on defense. Approach the enemy in peace. Create the home guard. Reform the communist army. I like that one quite a bit. Begin the showdown. I mean, doing it peacefully is okay and all. Uh, Industries the path of victory. I like that idea. Spread the revolution. Ooh, we get a lot of political power. That's really nice, actually. The research and analyst wing is not bad. Focus on technology. Focus on production. Uh, that one's okay. Arm the soldiers. That's one okay as well. And we will not be defeated. Revoke the landlords. We'd be totalists for that one. Um, begin the purge. Oh. Oh boy. Uh, that's not good. Rouse the masses. That's, that's way better. A new army. Ooh, that's pretty good though. Plus, ooh. <clears throat> In the end, you get... Basically, 10% more division organization. Oh, that one's not bad either. Um, I mean, we can do it peacefully, maybe. We'll see. I'm just going to go and do expand the National Railroads first. So, follow it up with even more roads. Getting more fuel would be nice, but further expand the National Railroad. The nation's infrastructure must continue to expand as a first step towards our national recovery. Pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, yay. At least Norway joined us, too. That's good. Or joined the International. Both denounce landlordism. Although, oh, look. Oh, the Vaz is here, too. Although the greatest landowners and uh, princes of Bengal and Orissa were deposed and their fiefs expropriated after the Calcutta government asserted itself in the years following 1926, the Bharatiya commune never truly made the transformation into a social society, lingering still in the villages and smaller cities. The Zamindar system of the olden days continues to shape the days and lives of those who should have been lifted into prosperity by the glorious revolution almost a decade ago. So Pons Chandra Bose has taken the floor and delivered a crushing speech against this feudal instrument of oppression, demanding an immediate end of the privately owned great farms and mansions, as well as their subjugation to complete state control. On a sensitive issue, the debate on the rights on the remaining landlords has begun to spin out of control and a decision will have to be made. Aw, oh, crap. That's right. End the feudal princes. Um, people of India first. Create the home guard. I mean, you need to get more division organization and recovery rate and daily command power gain. I'm, I'm going to play the Bharti coming a couple different times, even though I thought they were... India was supposed to be getting, like, a rework eventually. So, as much as I want to do this route, I think I want to see Gandhi. I think Gandhi would be cool. When you go radical socialist, so. He, the Mahatma, and allow private property to exist. So, we'll probably go with this one. Mohandas Karamchan Gandhi, leader of the Algerian faction, has won the appointment as head of the Calcutta government. So, we'll probably go down that route. East Turkey stands gone. Goodbye, East Turkey, Turkey, Turkey. Are you attacking here? Jawa, and I'll, I'll, like I said, I don't really speak Indian or do anything like that, but like, I apologize if I screw up the names of these people. So, at the end of the first week of the special session, young Jawaharlal Nehru has taken the floor, arguing for further increase in our nation's industrial output and greater economic control by the state. Opposed to the stands, a Gandhian wing of the Congress determined as they are that the heart and soul of the Mother India is not her great cities, but rather the Harlequinesque. Patrick of rural villages from Cape Comoron to the mouth of the Indus. 
Accordingly, they believe the influx of state support should flow instead to the countryside, developing the rice paddies and benefiting uh, the average Indian. The Maximus, on the other hand, find both Nehru's <clears throat> and Gandhi's proposals far too limited in their scope and hopelessly unambitious. Instead, Bose's supporters argue that the state is more than capable of undertaking expansion in both sectors, requiring, of course, that the government absolutely control these endeavors. Industry and agriculture must both be expanded no matter the cost. Wow, we're going to lose a lot of political power here. Nehru's right. Industries are, must be a first priority. The soul of India is a religious focus on agriculture. I kind of like that idea the most. So that's probably the way we're going to go. I apologize if we're not going down the route you, got, you want me to. I can't support it. You know, I can't support everyone at all times. So it just kind of sucks. But at the same time, oh, it's not good. What about getting circled here? That sucks. The Mahatma urges unification. The Bharati Commons has been at peace with their neighbors since the Civil War, but the changes in Burma, Delhi, and the Gun Salute Prince's Federation unfolding at an unnerving pace. As an obvious a special session will have to address the lingering question of unification. Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, always a staunch opponent of violence, supports a negotiated end of the division of the subcontinent. Given how hard the revolutionaries had to fight during the days of, last days of the Raj, this stance is rather controversial. Both Huke and Bose find the notion all but treacherous. Nehru argues that the government should wage real politics and take opportunities as they come, while Bose has bombastically announced neither the Neither the Nizam nor the Dominion shall obey or obtain any concessions. A bit driven out of bay in that point. Unification is paramount, but, but the methods used are not. Uh, warfare is immoral. Strive for negotiation and unification. We'll go with that one. Yeah, just don't, make sure you don't get in circle here. Okay, you can attack, but don't be extreme. You know, Session endorses the Mahatma's Agarians. Revealing its extremist rantings of bows and the dangerous warmongers of Sazlul Kul, Huk. The great soul, Mah Gandhi, has finally established a solid majority in the government. Uh, hoping that his quest for a peace throughout uh, India will now commence, Gandhi sees the control of all major offices within the cabinet. Hopefully, unification and Swaraj will arrive momentarily. Together in unity. Oh. Look at this guy. We need to get more stability and getting more, just maxing it out for popu party popularity is important as well. So, now we get one today. That's not bad. You can actually win here. That'd be great if we could. And I don't want to get encircled and stuff like that, so. But these guys are doing actually really well. Actually, they actually took the port, which is extremely good. So if we can win, then, and don't get encircled, then we can kill all these divisions off, and the Indo-Chinese revolt might actually succeed. I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to. I'm tempted to. I'm tempted. Oh. And the Second American Civil War, of course. Are you learning anything, son? Are you winning, son? Are you dying in Asia, son? <laughs> yes. We'll do this one next. Yeah, that'll be good. There's a path to peace for India. We lose war support. Honestly, I might still go to war. We'll see. Uh, we're gonna win faster than this. Second International Congress. A British Congress have confirmed their readiness to host the Second International Congress in London. It's time for buyer to come and confirm his participation. Nah, we don't care. Path to peace. Well, we're gonna do this one next. I like the roads. The first order of business is uh, be with B for Gandhi to address the nation. He's expected to declare that the Bharati Commune is not ruled by warlords, but rather by government that intends to put the people in their freedom above all else. The Mahatma is a revered figure in India, and the people will be related to hear his words. How many guns do we have now? Hey, we're doing better. It's not bad. Uh, today, the 1937 International Workers' Olympiad has been opened in Birmingham. The ceremony was attended by the dignitaries and athletes from the entire socialist world. After the parade through the host city, a mass gymnastics event followed that, that ended up drawing a crowd of tens of thousands of people. Over the next few days, athletes both local and from abroad will participate in countless events such as athletics, cycling, and football. Organized by the Socialist Workers' Sport International, or the IWL, is conceived as the antithesis of the bourgeois Olympic Games, where there is what, what are a showcase of elitist competition. Our games are based on mass participation and friendship between our peoples. That difference in conception has sure, shown its effects in the attendance numbers. What a glorious day for the working man. Cool. Anything else here? Guns? I mean, we just need to make more guns. Even if they're really crappy guns, we still need more guns. Show a restoration? No. You gotta keep going in, son. We gotta make sure, we have to ensure that these guys never come back over here. Do you go to the Philippines? Not bad. Oh, we're doing too well. Even though we lost over here, we're doing quite well down here. Hui and Buddhists. Alright. International avant-garde. Not bad. I don't think I need another field marshal, but we can always go and grab you, probably. Inauguration of the 2nd International Congress. With all the delegates in London, the 2nd Congress of the International began with a speech by Comrade Eric Blair. In a so-called shield and sword speech, he underlined the need for the International to redouble its efforts towards uh, forging the Damocles, a weapon capable of destroying all of the reactions across the world once and for all. Bravo, Comrade Blair. Keep going in, guys. You're doing great. 
Is he learning anything? He's learning a little bit. And there goes Hungry. Press it on the Danube. Oh! Oh! What happened here? Oh, they actually did another encirclement. Oh my goodness. Please don't end it too soon. Uh, we haven't lost here yet, which is good. You might want to hold, though. Over there too. Oh my goodness. We actually won down there. Nice. Ooh, we got some trucks too. Awesome. This is looking not too bad right now. I'm feeling pleasantly okay about this at the moment. We're going to lose some war support, which sucks because we don't have enough. Um, more stability is really good too. Focus on defense. Less war support again. Just by war goals time. Ah, oh, man. People of India first. One of the Agarian's priorities is to see the welfare of India's poorest. It will require sacrifice on the part of the government to see them elevated, but in Gandhi's own words, the economy cannot achieve victory without the, these desperate souls. For the CSA, as much as I'd like to do that, I'm going to save maybe political power so we can grab a chief of the army, maybe? Point two is really good. I'm not sure which one we really want to do. Supply consumption, probably, I'll actually go here. Because point two is great and all, but like, getting more army XP is really good. Less supply consumption is extremely important. But more defense. Organization. Organization is good on both attack and defense, so I mean I can't fight I can't fight that one. It's so so good. Oh my goodness. Well, we've helped win. We lost in China, but we won in Southeast Asia. I mean that's you know, you you win some, you lose some. Nice. Very awesome. And that's why it's in the horses. The Venetian Revolt. Oh, no, no, you want to go here. Go here. And go there. Icelandic Independence, huh? Uh, go on. You'll be fine. Long son? Hey, son, you're kind of long. Long son. And you get extra political power. That's awesome. Yeah, we won! Wow. There you go, you should be able to win. Interchange revolt succeeds. Great! The peoples of Indochina have finally thrown out the yoke of colonial exploitation. It's a great day for all the socialist nations of the world and a major defeat for the German imperialists. Our military observers in Indochina have studied the guerrilla tactics adopted by the revolutionaries, but their usefulness remains to be seen. Congratulations! Awesome. Yeah. Actually, who, who do we have here? Chief of Maneuver. Same type of idea. It's not bad. I, I do want more artillery attack and stuff like that, but. Or we could go here. 10% faster. We need army XP. I want army XP no matter what. Defense, point two. Defense, yeah. Plus point two is not bad. Land attack is not bad too. Only all these are going to just benefit us anyways. But organization, supply consumption. I, I mean, we're we're in India. Like we're in Asia. As much as I really want this one. Ooh, that guy. Nice. This path to peace for India. Peoples of India first. It's fine. Spine, spine, spine. Span the national minds. The Bharatiya economy is blessed with. Now, to research them, we must embrace new methods of mining in order to exploit them. Yes, please. Because we're here. Oh my gosh, the Reds are doing really well already. I mean, they're the Reds. What do you expect? Can you actually win there? That'd be kind of impressive. Nice. They're coming home. Great. We're going to lose all that political power we probably we want to spend it first, so. I might just go grab this guy, so. We'll see. You trait? Bows? Oh, you, you lost your election victory, but whatever. Red Spanish Volunteers? Eh. Abdicates the throne? Very nice. Let's see what y'all you can, can do up there. Guns, get some fighters. Oh, well, goodbye. Motorized, yeah, that'll be super important too. Yeah, actually, you'll go up to the top first. Oh, that's not bad. Get more stability. I mean, I love stability. Reinforce rates too. That's very helpful. Destroy them, federal government. Nice. Let's just kind of go in. There we go. Um, What do we want here? Oh, that, that's really strong. Even more max entrenchment. That's insanely strong. Build. Cool. People of India first. Red Spain. Why'd you just go all the way up there? Dude, just go here. Come on, bro. Oh, we must have played some more divisions. Yeah, I've played two more divisions. Not bad. Not bad. Construction. Awesome. Awesome. 
Um, 1937. Tanks, we're probably not going to use tanks in this campaign. We just don't have the industry for it, and they're not worth it as much. Maybe they are, but for now, not really. Go there. Bro, let's just go there. There we go. Now we have no political power. Oh, they'd be fully independent at peace. Uh, oil in Assam. Recent explorations of the frontier. <clears throat> Provinces of Assam have revealed untapped oil deposits. India will never be one of the world's great oil producers, but this may yet prove to be a vital resource for our army and industry. Absolutely. Hey, you got rid of the monarchists over there. Nice. Good job, guys. Very nice. One point one nine, not bad. At the Macedonian International the Macedonian Group, not bad, not bad. Burgos is ours. Good. Oh, I own a sum. Focus on defense, and that's okay, but it's still. Good job, guys. Puerto Rico declares independence, well, that's fine, whatever. Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. The Fed's still not giving up. Not too much yet. Let's go up there. Mexico joined the Third International. Nice. I didn't, I'll, truth be told, I didn't like set this up at all to make sure that everyone joins us or anything like that, so. Force it. Nice. Did we get this one done? Yes, we did. Got the synthetic oil. Expand national mines. This is costing us quite a few horses and men, but that's alright. Oh, but they're dying too. This is very funky. <laughs> the question of Bengal's elites. What are the hindrances to the communist progress lies in the remnants of the old social order which that lingers. The elite castes are not as wealthy or as powerful as they once were, but even so they hold on to the what they have and refuse to share the excesses with the people and the government. We must decide what measures will be taken to bring them into line, even if it is possible, before we can begin to truly grow. Good job guys. It was extremely fierce fighting out there, but New England's ours. And that's a beautiful thing. I just want to defend here if we can. BSA is going to be a little difficult to take out, but that's okay. That's all right. Assuming the defensive position, become a hill fighter, organizer, infantry leader. Great stuff. Ireland and the Reich's back. Not bad. How many guns are still out? 2,500? Not good. But we literally started with seven factories. All seven factories on here, so I'm not going to really touch it too much. So That'll be fine. That'll be A-OK. -okay. How's the industry doing? Hey, we bought another one. Not bad, not bad. Could be better. Could be better, of course. And we can't really do too much here since we don't have any dockyards to work with. Yeah, that's kind of sucks. Not gonna lie, that really sucks. Let's go to training. Okay, like, still. I don't do that. You can be there. Come on. Hello. Okay, that's glitched. Now you can do it, weirdos. Oil? Bengal's elites? Hello, what is this? Oh, it's like a monster rifle, it's nice. Um, honestly, we don't need that many of you guys, so for that one, saving guns just a little bit. And after the question of the elites, now we can build more civilian industry, more military factories. Let's get some military factories first. Build military industry. Our military factories are currently lacking. We must dedicate our political efforts to expanding them. In the West, Dominion forces are preparing to come to the aid of rioting protesters in Dahradun, who have risen in response to a massacre orchestrated by the occupying police garrison. Nepalese army formations are detained and completely impotent in the face of such a modern foe. An intelligence detail among the underground local wing of the INC states that plans of open revolt are hatching in the East as well. A partition of the Nepalese occupied territories seems thus seems all but imminent. It seems that it will come easily with a proletarian intimidation. We will sweep into there. Oh, Yak herders mean nothing to the revolution. Um, Nepal. Nepal caves with our army gathering on the border. The Nepali government has caved to the pressure and surrendering Sikkim and Darjeeling to our control. And not a single shot fire. Awesome. Whoa. Nice. Not bad. That's actually really awesome. We got more population out of it. Cool. Very cool. And they're still attacking like crazy? That's fine with me. 
Anything else up around here? No, we're doing really, really, actually really well. Go and do that anyways, because you can. It's already November. It's almost December, too, so. Very nice. And it goes hungry. Goodbye, hungry. What a hungry, hungry little boy. Mm. Infantry attack and defense. Better cost. Ooh, organization and recovery rate. I like organization quite a bit. Uh, more soft attack. Automobiles, I'm not going to worry about that one. As much as I want more of that, I think we'll probably go with max out infantry equipment, probably. But I want more daily. Well, we don't get more daily stuff anyways. Get more soft attack. Everyone, everything uses soft attack, so... <clears throat> or uses infantry equipment, so that's fine. Oh, they're definitely trying to hold out as best they can. Kingdom of Spain, huh? Fuel storage, nice. Happy 37. It's almost 38. Go and grab one of these two. Might as well. Nice. The question of the elites. Oh, guys. Ah, it must be supply issues down there. That must be it. Can you come to Louisville? Second Irish Revolution. No, you don't want to move? Very odd, okay. The question of India's elites. As economic recovery continues in the uh, Bharati economy, one issue we are to repeatedly counter is that the cultural elites that remain even after the changes to the social order following the Civil War. They have neither the influence nor wealth they once did, but they are not without resources, and it is not uncommon for the lower classes to give them deference, even when the law is in their favor. These elites often ignore laws requiring them to work with those that they see beneath them and hold on to precious resources, even when they request require to give them up. Getting compliance will be tricky, considering many of our citizens take a blind eye to transgressions. Use force? Offer oh, incentives to the elites to work with a new order. It's not bad. We need the resources. Promote the willing to good positions. Ooh. We need the resources. Promote the willing. Hmm. It seems like this one would be the one we, w we would want to do. Promote the willing to good positions. There's P. Path. Hmm. Kind of like this one incentives, though. Get more daily political power. Eventually, political power won't really matter too much at all, but... Hmm. Force. That seems like a maximus thing to do. Syndicalists. Radical socialists. Yeah, you know what? Let's do this one. This is not, probably not going to be smart to do, but whatever. It just gives you a debuff, and that's it. So. Oh, well. Continue building military and industry. Well, military production. Oh. Uh, has increased. It's not nearly at the level necessary to take on the Northern Dominion and Princely Federation. We must continue to expand it. Our program to cajole the cultural elites into supporting the national reform has, after a great deal of time and considerable cost, finally met with success. Well, you mean literally like a day? So we remove it and replace underdeveloped economy with a recovering economy. Oh. Okay, so we remove that. Well, okay. 10%. Mm, not bad. Okay, that's even better. Yeah, more output. Fall of Denver. Not bad. You guys are taking a while, though. Hmm. How are we doing in Spain? Federal collapse? Oh, look at that. Nice. And the lag for the collapse. Beautiful. Federal government. Jesus. If they can move fast enough, they can capitulate the American Union state, probably, and uh, then focus on the PSA before Canada really gets involved. Well, that's a definite maybe. Happy 18th... 18? 1938, everybody. Happy New Year. How many guns do we not have? Not bad. Not a bad amount. Getting extra military factories for motorized, for artillery, and then trains, and all this stuff is going to be so helpful. Oh my goodness. Not bad. Um, where would y'all like to go? Here, maybe? And you're still fighting here. I mean, you you literally quite have like no organization. So go leave and come back. Now we're building ourselves up more, 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 more. I love it. India, I know some people don't like what the heck I mean, this is disgusting. Some people don't like Red India, and I think these, like I said earlier, these guys are supposed to be getting like a, a focus speed change or rework someday. Could be wrong about that, but so far I'm enjoying it. I actually really am enjoying it a lot more than I thought I would, to be honest with you guys. Yes, no, no, no. I do want to focus on defense and approach the enemy in peace, but I don't like it that if this fails, we can't go back over here. So, and I do want these buffs. Luck now summit. Uh, do we need it has to be peaceful and independent? Oh, but the current ruling party has to be, okay. Social Democrats. And they're not going to be so. So we can't do that one. Which makes sense, okay. Social Conservatives. 
Which makes sense, I guess. Still focus on defense. I don't want to lose any more war support. I don't want better just fire goals or worse just fire goals sounds. I do want to beeline down here though. Build civilian industry. Armed with new technologies, we can start building factories across our nation. Oh, we finally get some motorized. Oh, thank goodness. And it's some already too. Because we definitely already on these on these horse boys. And nothing says love like horse boys. Mm -hmm. Maybe not that, but whatever. Um, recon. Oh. Armor chains. Oh. Crash is on the dawn. Look like that they're down going out to having a crisis of sorts. I don't think I can really support you here, can you? Oh, you can actually maybe win though. You might be able to win. It is a lot more fun than I thought it would be. Which plays the other Indian factions sometime too. Oh. Yeah, these guys are actually exhausting themselves. The anarchists are not so much. Or what the anti FAI. They might not be anarchists, they're radical socialists for now, but whatever. <clears throat> You are just guys with guns. I might actually throw on artillery on you guys. Or, and by do that, I mean just like literally just switch your divisions around. Because that's their division right now. I'll probably make, try to make these guys 27 combat width. How much artillery do we have? Negative 7. Fine, whatever. Bro, that sucks. But I've got to be losing more men though, right? Oh, we have more military factories. Alfonso. They have slightly bigger industry, but that doesn't really mean too much. Oh. <clears throat> Civilian stuff, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, I don't, don't want to lose that war sport. Continue military building civilian industry. We must continue to build civilian factories to provide for our people. We could do showdowns, and honestly, we probably should. Ooh. Oh, this one instead. Anglo Indian Trade Agreement. A proposal has been presented aimed at systemizing and streamlining the socialist Anglo Indian cooperation, granting the Indian government vital assistance in industrial and martial matters while securing the people and. Government of Britain, a city flow of exotic goods such as bananas, rubber, most importantly, unrestricted access to the tea plantations of Assam. Not a bad idea. <clears throat> mm, up ahead of time. You know what? I'm going to do that one ahead of time. We could really use that really badly. And so we're over here. Oh, uh, logistics. Yeah, logistics are super, 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 super needed. Shirpad Amrit Dong reforms the An Hushilan Samiti. A lot of local labor meeting in Calcutta close by Riders Building. Uh, Shirapad Amrit Danga and several prominent veteran revolutionaries such as Altul Krishna, Ghosh, and M. N. Roy proclaimed their intention to organize a truly syndicalist and militant revolutionary organization within the Dalman INC. Seeing both the Maximus and Aguirre wings as compromised and Fazlul Hooks moderates as corrupt, the group hopes to contest for commissary and delegate positions on the next round of elections to the government. And what can the name of the old AS, meaning self care association, the group strongly advocates the use of force to overthrow the Hyderabad and Delhi governments as well as an economic system based on anarcho syndicalist policies of cooperative farming and union controlled industries. Let's hope he aims those bombs at the reactionaries. As, um, as much as I want to do that one, ooh, 80% is so good. Uh, let's get at least one more done here in West Bengal because that's, that's getting close. You might as well get it done, get more resources. Maybe we can ex uh, sell them away or sell them away, sell them, period. So that'd be fine. I was learning a lot. The Indo Chinese Sikh Union sees closer ties. It seems that the Indo Chinese now see closer political and economic ties with powers closer to home. The Indo Chinese Union has proven itself to be an adamant fighter against imperialism. Are we interested in the proposals? No, we don't need them. Nice. <laughs> we don't need them. What do you mean? You attack here or here? I like either one. The Reds do have quite a few divisions. Now, if they start attacking somewhere, I'm going to help, it, help them out. Definitely. Most definitely. We have 40 divisions on the front. Now, what do we do? never have enough guns? You know, at this point, uh, cut, cut them down. Cut them down. Because I definitely want to make sure that we have enough uh, factories for, like, support equipment and stuff. So, we're going to go and convert you over here. Build some cities. England Indian Trade Agreement. And then, come into your civilian trains. We lose some stability. I don't really want to lose stability. Trains are cheap enough. I'm not going to do that one. This one's not bad to do either. We have 100 here. We could raise... Honestly, we have enough manpower as it is, so... Not super worried about that. Republicans will begin the Greek referendum. Final showdown. We'll do that one eventually. And then I'll just want to get down here next. The economy renewed. Oh! What am I doing? I thought... Oh, that sucks for you guys. Sucks to be you. Right, Gandhi? Please don't nuke us. Uh, even though we're playing them, so... Mm, War off series, okay. Get some recon, maybe? I don't want to send more volunteers just because it's so annoying fighting on like three or four different fronts. So, Ooh, if you go there, you could... Oh, we got some support. Maybe, maybe not. If they throw another division and we definitely won't be able to take it, but you never know. Over here, you are doing what? Helping them out. 
No. Well, Batavia. Can you guys actually win here? Maybe? Maybe not? Oh! Oh, we made an encirclement! Oh, look at that, my friends. Oh, that's so nice. Help him out. Help him out. Beautiful. How about Burgos? Twenty. This is good. I mean, we'll need divisions for the entire front here as well, but like, we definitely need more guns and artillery pieces. Nice. If that's the case, I want you all to have some support artillery because you need just a little bit more punch right now. You really do need more punch. Beautiful. What are we doing? Fourteen. Not bad. Not bad. It's only thirty-eight, of course. And then we're gonna take a long time, probably trying to destroy everything, everything else around us, trying to unite everybody here. Bye bye, for people. And do we get anything from them? Recovering economy. People of India first. French military organization. Um, more air and naval stuff. Artillery. As much as I want more artillery. I mean, we're gonna need a lot of infantry. But then again, we're also using horses, and everyone's gonna be having artillery anyways. But organization. I like the idea of... That's actually really strong, too. Holy crap, that's really strong. But that's not going to help us on an attack. If I play Poland, I will definitely go with the guy who gives us more max entrenchment. Let's go more organization, just because that will help us out. But at the same time, we have more XP for everything else, maybe? Eh, we've already forces in the, in the field. Go with the guy with the organization, because that helped out every single division. And we're getting rid pretty good, too. The economy renewed. At long last, we've restored the damage to our economy from the Civil War and may now truly claim to be a rising industrial power ready to take on our enemies. Better consumer goods, construction speed, output. Oh my gosh, 20% more output. It's just so nice. Oh, how'd you guys end up down here? Trading tea for arms. R. H. Tawney, the man who had inserted cordial relations between Calcutta and London in the chaotic days during the collapse of the British Empire, uh, has arrived once more in India. He brings the greetings of our dear proletarian friends in the Union of Britain and promises a new and empowered industrial cooperation between the working people of our nations. Tawny himself oversaw the first nascent dispatch of British railway engineers and with his own roots firmly placed in the soil of India, he's determined to ensure that this new round of cooperation develops successfully. All that remains is for our government to name its request in exchange for London's technical support. People's Air Force? Uh, engineering aid. Our revolt is flared up in the Dutch East Indies, where the native population is seeking to secure their independence from the Dutch overlords. Many in our countries feel connected to the insular Indian plight and want to help out. Shall we send a detachment of volunteers? No. No. Actually, for this one, yeah, I, I will absolutely send volunteers. Ooh, we can send two! I feel like America and TNO. Like, I'm just sending volunteers to every country we possibly can. When you're done, train harder. Safe word is harder. We have no reserve of, art of artillery. But that's not an issue. If we can get Ameri America, if we can get the Reds to win in America, that'd be so good. Yes, okay, the Marines are helping us out down in here. Can you guys, you got more divisions down here, guys. Can you, can you, can you help us out, please? Come on. Armor trains are nice, good. Um, I don't usually use signal companies. We could maybe research them. Bros, you got another division there. It's all right, though. We'll see how that turns out. There you go, that's better. Nice, very good. And then, economy renewed would be so good. So good. Ah, armor trains, yeah. We got more than enough trains for now. That's fine. Oh yeah, they're running out of equipment, even though they're doing quite well against their guys here. That's fine. Oh, get this to the next level. Please, 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 please. Oh, you showed up. Nice, good job, guys. Mm, the goal would be like to strike here and encircle them there, or come down here and take out that group. Come down here first. Any other commander? There, you can be commander. Mm, be aggressive. I said I didn't want to do it like this, but we'll do it anyways, because we can. Hey! Hey! Not bad. I love horses. Hey, we're winning there. It's great. More civvies. Great. And kind of be restored. Hey, 15 and 2. Not bad. British aid arrives! That took a long time. Out of the perilous month to see the development aid uh, that we have asked from our friends in Britain has finally arrived in the docks of Calcutta. With such a large boost in our state, we might just be able to crush the reactionaries throughout the subcontinent, from the Kaibara Pass to the Com Cape Cameroon. We have the power of the proletarian cooperation. Yay! Better consumer goods, factory output, bonus for industry. What's not to love? Come here, and we'll probably end up doing this one. But let's first go here to the final showdown. 
It's inevitable that we'll face both the Dominion of Delhi and the Prince of Federation at some point in the near future. We should ensure that we're as strong as possible for proceeding. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we will probably end up in war trying to reunite the subcontinent. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.